This handy device is a SATA adapter to USB. So basically, this allows you to connect to any hard drive SSD that uses SATA to recover information or to wipe or whatever you want to do. Let's say you have a drive and you can't really connect to it unless you have a computer with this device. You'll be able to connect to it. You'll be able to grab your information and continue with your day. My plan today is to use this device right here to clone my other computer into this one using Hirens. So let's say you're planning on cloning your drive for whatever reason. Maybe you want to get a larger capacity drive and you want to do this and put the larger capacity drive on your computer. This is going to help you out complete that process. So let's check out what we're working with. Okay, and this is the system that I'm working with. It's a Lenovo M900 Tank Center. So I'll show you the uh, cover. This is how it looks. I have a hard disk drive, mechanical. And what you're going to need is you're going to need that um, Hirens bootable media. I've covered it before in my videos. If you want to check that video out so you, do, you can create your Hirens because we have the programs here to be able to clone the drive. Just put it back in. And then uh, you can start your system and make you sh make sure you prioritize that boot media. That way you can uh, make sure it's on top. Or if you have a way of selecting it on your system, I have a, a way of like F11, F12, kind of like that. It allows me to pick, I, I click on F12. It allows me to pick that uh, USB media from the different options. So I'm going to pick UEFI, vendor C, because I recognize uh, my USB nomenclature. You can see it's right there. It's going into Hirens. This should be the new uh, SSD that we're trying to put in. With this one, you don't need uh, uh, this one because it's not 3.5. So you can get by with just the adapter and the USB. It's going to get power from... Uh, the USB because it's 2.5, it's smaller form factor. It doesn't use that much energy. At least I haven't had any problems with that. Okay, and it's booting to higher ends. I'll see you on the computer. And don't forget to connect your uh, USB-A to the computer and then your adapter, then connect it here as well so your computer can see it. Okay, so now you made sure you have your uh, new drive connected with the adapter, your higher ends media, has booted up. Uh, let's get started with the uh, uh, cloning of the image. So what I like to do in higher ends, I like to go here, all programs, hard disk tools. And I like uh, imaging. I like Macroom Reflect. Would it not load up? Okay, now in this section, you, you gotta go to backup. You're gonna see here this, uh, it's popping up with uh, the image here. And what you want to do is clone this disk. Another screen is going to open up. Um, now that you're here, you're going to select the disk to clone. You're going to see a disk here. It says solid state disk. So it makes sense. So now you have all your selections here for the uh, environment. You're gonna go next, finish. We're gonna start the process. The nice thing about Hirens is that you know that uh, Hirens doesn't change. So it's still gonna have the same programs. Makes it a lot easier. Just you know, you go to Hirens and you're gonna see the same environment. Um, if you get another option, you gotta pay for it or you gotta use it for a limited time. So with Hirens, you just keep your USB, and I mean your USB is not going to expire. I mean, unless you forget it somewhere. Clone, com uh, clone complete, com clone completed in 0305. Okay. And we can hit close. Now we see the copies of the top one and then 
it's now cloned to the other drive that we have. So now let's do the change and see how the computer, if the computer boots up to the same operating system that the other one has. So all we have to do is exit here, turn off your computer so that you can remove hirens uh, and uh, attach the other drive. So see you on the computer. Okay, so we're back in the computer. Computer is off. Make sure you remove high rents. We don't need it anymore. Disconnect your adapter. Uh, disconnect it for, from here and here. Not that it matters, but okay. So this should have the uh, cloned image. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this one. We're gonna push it away like this. So the whole plate moves, this whole uh, aluminum piece. Now we take this one out replace it with this one we're gonna sit it here we're gonna push it with the plate okay it's in so now gotta make sure that it boots to this monitor first so that you can see in in, in real time so power Okay, success, look at that. Same account, it was a new drive. It didn't have any any operating system as you saw on higher ends, it was empty. So it does have the account that I had on the other one. Let me click here. It's uh, okay. Okay, so it wants me to change that password. But as you can see, it worked just like that. You remove the old one, uh, put the new one. If you're planning on on cloning your drive, this is the way of doing it. Uh, you can use an uh, SATA adapter, like the one I showed you, or you can use something like this for an M.2 NVMe. Connect it to the system and then clone it this way. Or if you just wanna have like a, a quick, and I mean quick, external drive, you can have a M.2 NVMe. And here, and use this instead, which is a lot faster and sometimes a lot cheaper if you want to use it this way. Just put it like that, boom, blah, blah, blah. And this is it for the video. So if you ever clone your system with higher ends or something like that, just let me know in the comments if it worked, if you had any trouble or problems, and uh, I'll reply back to you. You have a nice day. Peace.